Hey y'all, hey, it's me, T. Marie, and I'm back with a full face makeup tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you all from start to finish how I achieve this look. So if you would like to know how, then stay tuned. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe. <music> First, I'm going to start off with a moisturizer, Aveeno Clear Complexion. Um, I like this. It's really good. Uh, I alternate between this and my oil that I also use on my face. But uh, this is a good moisturizer to have. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. Uh, some people don't do this step first, but um, to me, once I get my eyebrows done, um, I can kind of go from there. Uh, I think the eyebrows is the most important part of doing your makeup because I, I feel like it sets the rest of, you know, the tone. I think it sets the tone to me. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing my eyebrows. And this is an eyebrow pencil, y'all. And I have another one. And you're going to see in a minute because the pencil is going to break. You know, it's going to break. But it gets the job done. Here I'm just taking my eyebrow pencil brush and just brushing through it so it won't look so harsh. Now I'm using my concealer to go in and clean up my brow. Um it's going to get any little mistakes you made so um you won't be able to tell so here we go All right here I'm just using um, a darker concealer for the front of my brows and the reason is because uh, just to make it look less harsh um, you know sometimes brows can look harsh some people like their brows to be very very dramatic but um, I don't so the, the that's what the darker concealer is for to it's cleaning it up but it makes it look less harsh and by the time i'm done with this look you'll um you'll see what i'm talking about all right okay and i'm just basically doing the same thing to the top of my brow as well um you probably if you see me looking off my baby's in the bathroom with me and i'm trying to watch him uh because he is trying to pull all my makeup brushes off of the counter y'all but um, anyway, I'm just cleaning up the top of my brow um, using the concealer, same as the bottom. And um, yeah, and I'm, I have to look in the mirror too, y'all, because I'm not a pro. So <laughs> I be need my mirror to make sure, I'm, you know, it looks different in the mirror than it does in the camera. So that's why you'll see me looking up. I'm just smoothing out the uh, concealer under and on top of my brows to uh, just blend it, just blending and blending and blending. And I don't always use um, my beauty blender or brush to do this step or some of my other steps because sometimes, you know, the finger gets the job done, as I've said before. All right. So, yeah finger it is okay i'm using a different eyebrow pencil in this one that's a new one that i bought and it's more pointy um i don't know it just worked better i don't know why i didn't use it in the beginning from the jump but this one i use a pencil eyebrow on the other side and this side i'm using um uh i don't really know what you call y'all 
like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, so um, it's the pencil that you, it's the it's a pencil, but it's not a pencil. It goes on better. That's all I know. It goes on better. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm using uh, my newer eyebrow pencil on this eye, and um, it actually works better and it goes on better. So all right. Okay, I'm doing the same thing on this brow, adding the concealer uh, to clean up the brow, and I'll do the same with the top of the brow, and I'm going to also um, use a darker uh, concealer for the front of my brow, so it won't look harsh, as I said before. So yeah, that's all I'm doing. And... The eyebrows is never going to be identical, as I said before, and I'll say it again, just in case somebody's like, oh, her brows don't look the same. They they two different. <laughs> They're not going to look the same. They may be, they might not be twin sisters. I'll say they, they more like cousins. So um, if you find somebody that can, can get their eyebrows identical, let me, let me know, tag them so I can go and, um, you know, practice and, and see see what their technique is but yeah that's what i'm doing here y'all okay i'm just going to take that light colored powder and just kind of brush through uh, my eyebrows to like like i said trying to make them look less harsh um just rub gently and it don't take a whole lot to do it just um Trying to make it look a little more natural. That's all. <laughs> I'm just adding concealer to my eyelids. Um, to set as my base. I don't know. it To me, it makes the um, eyeshadow go on better. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting it to my eye. Putting it on my eyelids. And smoothing it out. And... Yeah, next step. Now I'm just using my um, eyeliner pencil uh, to line the top of my eyelids. Um, I normally use, or sometimes I use the liquid liner, but y'all, it takes patience and some practice, in my opinion, because I'm not good with that eyeliner. With the liquid, I'm, I'm not good at it all, y'all, so... I have to like take really really take my time with it. Um so I'm just going to use this regular schmegler old eyebrow uh not eyebrow pencil y'all sorry. Uh eyeliner pencil and it's going to get the job done y'all. It's going to get it done. And I'm doing this to both of my eyes and um this young lady that I saw she actually did it to her eyes and then she is going to or I'm going to take a brush and uh, smear it. Actually, I'm going to smear the eyeliner over my lids to try and get this smoky like um, this smoky like look. So, yeah, here we go. Now I'm using my Can't Stop Honey Gold Foundation. Um, I got this from Walmart, and I also used this in a previous video. Um, I got it for like maybe 15, 16 bucks, and um, I like it. It's a matte uh, finish because I have oily skin. So um, I try to find foundation when I do use it. Um, with the matte look because my skin is already oily and then if i use a foundation that has all these different oils in it it's only going to be shinier so i always try to find uh the matte finish um foundation so yeah i'm about to blend i don't add a lot of foundation uh at first because you know i don't really do heavy makeup so what i do is i add my foundation blend it and then i'll go i'll look and see what 
needs more um, foundation and then I'll add a little more to those spots and blend more. Okay, now I'm gonna take my contour and um, contour my face. You see where I have those, those shadow spots uh, right there at my cheekbone area? Um, that's where I apply, or you should apply your found, uh, your contour. You apply your contour to those shadow spots and it doesn't take much. It really doesn't. And, uh, yeah, I'm added to the, um, to my bone line. Am I saying it right, y'all? <laughs> but I'm gonna add that down there too. And like around my hairline a little bit, just so it'll, it'll blend, um, and look more more natural just trying to make everything come together that's that's why it's called contouring ladies and gentlemen okay now i am blending that contour y'all i don't know the names of these brushes y'all i can just kind of look at somebody else and see which brush they're using and then i try to use the same one um, I have multiple brushes, but I just don't know the names of them. They be on the boxes, but y'all, I just don't know. But yeah, I am blending my contour or I'm contouring. Yeah, trying to work it in so it won't, you know, so you won't see those harsh lines. Blending is everything, ladies. Blending is everything, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm just blending, blending contouring and blending. Okay, I'm going to add this baked highlighter by Rude to my nose to give it that, mm, you know, that that besides the eyebrows, y'all, when you highlight that nose, when you highlight that nose, <laughs> yeah, period, bleak, whatever, it's going to all, you know, it's going to come together. It's going to come together. Just watch. Now I'm applying more of that uh, highlighter under my eyes and ladies, don't forget to tap. Or if you're using uh, your beauty blender or whatever, just tap a little bit on the back of your hand like I'm doing now to get, you know, some of that excess uh, powder off so you won't overdo it. You can always go back if you want to add more, but we, we try not to overdo it or whatever. So, yeah, I'm just adding the um, highlighter under my eyes, under my chin, a little on my forehead just to hit those spots that the sun, you know, be glistening on, you know, so. Okay, now I'm just going to take that contour and kind of um, mold my my nose. And I'm going to start up at my uh, the end of my eyebrow, the beginning of my eyebrow, all the way down to my, um, to the bone, to, <laughs> to the structure of my nose, just to make it look less harsh so my nose won't look all, you know, just, everything we're trying to make everything look less harsh y'all like i said i'm not a makeup artist so i don't know all this terminology but yeah that is what i'm doing here and then i'm gonna blend it in uh yeah okay now i'm gonna add um a little eyeshadow a little gray just to make my eyes pop a little bit more so um yeah i'm just gonna go back and add a little bit of gray to like the front the corners um, of my my eyelids and yeah and then I'm just gonna blend it and blend it yeah that's that's what it's all about get it in them creases and everything and then we will clean it up okay I'm just adding um, eyeliner to my bottom uh, my waterline and uh, yeah do it to both of your eyes and then go to the next step. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Highlighter. Um, That's not my favorite one, but I'm almost out of my favorite. The favorite color that I love. So I'm just going to use that one. Don't know the name of it. But yeah, make sure you tap that, that um, brush every time before you use it. And I'm just applying a little 
highlighter to the top of my cheekbone just a little bit just a little bit okay I'm gonna use my coloring stick also called a bronze bronzer stick and I'm just gonna apply a little bit um, right where I contoured it right to the top of that under my cheekbone right up under where I just applied um, the highlighter and then I'm just gonna take my finger y'all like I always do a lot of the times and just blend it in um, just to give that extra glow that extra pop just taking it make sure you blend it in really really good I'm too sexy for my bun. It's so sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Still blending. All right. Now I'm going to line my lips with this MAC lip liner. Um, Some people don't like to line their lips, but I do. I think it just add more fullness to it. Um, and most of the time when you add your lipstick on top of it, it's, it's not really going to show. It's just a, it's just an outline, I guess. Um, it just depends on whether you use lipstick or lip gloss. Um, but I prefer, I prefer to line my lips, y'all. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now I'm going to apply my lipstick by MAC called, the color is Dark Deed. I'm just going to apply that um, kind of to the outline. I'm not going to apply it to my whole lip, um, especially at the bottom. I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'm going to leave uh, space in the middle. Now I'm applying my cream color uh, lipstick by MAC to the center of my lips. My baby blot, blot, baby blot. Now that my makeup is finished, I'm going to apply my Shine Control Mist. That's just to set the makeup in. Um, yeah. Don't forget to close your eyes, honey. Close your eyes. Yeah, so I'm going to set that in. And then I'm going to take um, one of my blenders, my sponges, and just kind of blot to, um, you know, set it in and give that final look. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to apply my eyelashes now. And yes, I use hair glue to apply my lashes because it works a whole lot better than the glue that comes with the lashes. It really don't stick, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm using the hair glue. Okay, I just I just apply my um, lashes kind of off camera because uh, I'm not really good with that, and I don't have my tweezers, y'all. So um, I was trying to make I get make sure I get that get it right, you know, line it up right and everything. But how do y'all like this look, baby? All right, y'all. That concludes this video of my uh, updated makeup tutorial. Uh, yeah, I think I'm getting better and better. Y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. I actually um, saw another lady on YouTube, as I always do. I'm always on YouTube videos trying to master my looks or, you know, try something different. Like I said, I'm no makeup artist. Uh, I'm not a professional. I just look at other people and then I try to go for their look or something similar to it. Uh, I do want to eventually take a class for makeup. And, you know, have this like a little side hustle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a makeup class and then uh, practice on some of my uh, family members. You know, they like to get their makeup done sometimes or just, you know, they let me play around with them. And so I'm going to do that. But uh, I think I'm getting better and better, y'all. What do y'all think? This is like a full look. Like, I'm not used to... Um, 
like going real heavy. Maybe my lipstick is the most heaviest that I will wear. Uh, when I do do my makeup, I, I'm always light on the foundation and all of that. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I'm, you know, just getting into it, you know. So, you know, I won't be having to pay people to do my makeup unless I just want to be, you know, pampered or whatever. But, um, yeah. Tell me what y'all think about this look. Tell me if I did a good job. Tell me if you think I'm getting better, you know. With that being said, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I post a new video. And that is always, always on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for sure. I'm not sure of the times anymore because I don't want to put myself on like, uh, for pressure. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays are the days that I post. So be looking out for that. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that T. Marie is on YouTube. And I'll see you all in the next banger.